it's Gemma here and today's video is going to be about how to make your own ethical microscope slides and they're really simple and easy to do. The reason that I'm describing them as ethical is because I am using animal parts but I am using animals that have had a natural death so nothing has been killed to make the slides that you're going to see today. And so I've got some beautiful exotic butterfly wings and these have come from a company called the Ethical Butterfly Group and they're guaranteed 100% natural death butterflies. In fact, I think some of them come from tropical butterfly houses around the country. So when the butterflies come to the end of their natural life cycle, their uh, bodies and wings are collected and then sold on and people buy them to make things like jewellery or for me to make uh, microscope slides. Um, I've also got a dragonfly wing here that I made a little while ago. Um, I think a friend gave me this one, she found it in her garden. But I've also had dragonflies on the uh, windscreen of my car, uh, stuck in the windscreen wipers before. So that's a little uh, top tip of a place to check. So they've been put into laminate, so plastic, of which is actually really good because it means that they'll keep for ages and it makes them quite robust, especially for little hands, because once they're in there, even if you sort of wiggle them round, they don't snap and break. So it's quite handy to use with children. So I've got a couple of things to laminate today. I've got a painted lady butterfly wing. Oh. And also, this is a bit tiny, but hopefully you can see it. It's like a little hoverfly wing. I've got my laminator all ready to go. I haven't used it for a while, so I hope it's not going to give off a weird dusty smell. I use this size laminating pouch. They're kind of credit card sized, which um, yeah, just means it's less trimming involved at the end and you can keep them all together in a set and they're all the same size. So I'm going to pop the painted lady wing in. I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers so that I don't break it on the way in. And then, yep, yeah, green lights on the laminator. I'm going to pop it through. So I would stick to flat things. Um, I'm not too precious about my laminator. Um, but if you have a really expensive laminator and don't want to break it, you might want to be really careful about what you put through there. So, um, for example, I'd avoid things like chunky beetle legs or maybe um, the elytra, the outside shells of, of beetles. Because uh, laminators aren't really designed for putting thick things through. But um, as you can see, my painted lady wing has gone through beautifully because it's lovely and flat and now that's perfect to use with a microscope. So I'm just gonna pop my other ones through. So I just bought these off Amazon, so they weren't difficult to get hold of, these um, laminating pouches. I'm just gonna pop the little wing in there, and then again, just feed it through into my laminator. And here in the UK at the moment, it's summer, which is a really good time to look for natural death insects. So if you've got a conservatory, have a look around the window sills. Um, if like me, you have lots of obliging friends who are happy when they find something dead to keep it for you, then that's great. There we go, another perfect one there. So I've got our hoverfly wing inside the laminate. I'm just gonna turn my laminator off. So, Obviously, once you've made your microscope slides, you are going to want to have a look in detail at what you've got there. So there are loads of pocket microscopes available. You don't have to spend a fortune at all. So I just use these ones. So they're from the Natural History Museum. They are battery operated. So I think you have to put four batteries in here. And then there's a simple light switch at the top. And it did come with um, a sort of attachment at the bottom that you can slide a slide in. Uh, I have lost mine, but that doesn't matter because you can just literally pop your microscope directly on top of the slide. You don't need to leave a gap. Um, and then you've got a couple of op options for magnification at the top, and then you've got your 
focus at the bottom there so you can just look through and then even though they're they're sort of children's microscopes really um, and this one I think was about £14 you can just buy them on Amazon you can see some really interesting detail through the top so with things like the butterfly wings, you can see um, the tiny little overlapping scales that make up the wing. You can see the vein, you can see little tiny hairs. So really fascinating to um, see things through your, your microscope there. If you didn't want to do animal parts, um, you can also do things like flowers and leaves. My recommendation for those would be to press them first because um, I found with laminating leaves before that if you do them fresh then they become quite discoloured over time. Um, other things I've done have been parts of daffodil, so you can dissect a daffodil and then laminate the different parts and keep them as a reference collection. So there's loads of things you can experiment with when making microscope slides, uh, but my advice would be, as I said before, just make sure you're using really flat things so as not to damage your laminator. If it starts smoking and makes a funny noise, unplug it, walk away and deny all knowledge. So I hope you enjoyed my top tips for making your own microscope slides. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like and thank you very much for listening.